Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penge and welcome to Metropolis. So Metropolis is a city management game. So in it there is going to be a little bit of building and there's going to be some policy decision making and there's going to be a little bit of budgeting. In fact there's probably going to be a lot of budgeting going on and there's a conflict resolution and all that kind of stuff that you might expect to find if you were actually running a city. It came out earlier on Steam and I thought Do you know what I'm going to give this a go. I like building games. I like kind of city builders, city planning games kind of stuff. So I thought do you know what? Let's give Metropolis a go. If you are interested, it's out on Steam. I think it's the full version. And for the next week or so, as a sort of release launch bonus thing, it's on 10% discount as well. So you can pick it up for 10% cheaper than the normal price. So here we go. Let's dive straight in and start a new game and get to pick a little avatar. And normally in a game like this, you, you might get four or so of these. There's absolutely loads. There must be sort of 20 or so in there. It's tremendous. Uh, however, I have identified one that I would like me to play as. Where are you, Mr. Man? Where are you? You're somewhere around here. There, there. Yes, there he is. I like the look of this guy. I think he looks kind of fusty and officious and like he'd be the sort of person in charge of a big city. He's got a monocle and a raised eyebrow, which is, you know, giving a quite an admonishing sort of look and quite a good moustache as well. So here we go. Uh, surname, Penge. Very unimaginative. And my city name is going to be equally unimaginative. But there is a reason for this. And that's because the game is called Metropolis and my city is going to be called Penjopolis. And I like the idea of having a Penjopolis Metropolis because Penjopolis Metropolis just sounds quite whimsical and fun to say. So here we go. Let's start the game. So people cheer. Yes, hello. Your mayor has arrived. Worry not, Penjopolis. Mayor Penj is here to take care of all your woes. And here we go. So this is how it all looks. Now there is a clock thing there that I believe speeds time on. Right, so that is how you speed time on. I don't think there is a pause. As far as I'm aware, there's no pause. You can just speed time on, but you can't actually stop time, which is fair enough. We have a date, we have $50 million. That's our population, so 36,473 people. I don't know what the bit in bracket is, but okay. Uh, that's weather, that's lovely. It's eight degrees C, so it's it, it's probably very British. Uh, there's some sort of stock market thing, 39% possibly, or is that our approval rating or something? I don't know. And um, yeah, we've got 20 out of 20 on a thing, but I don't know what that is either. Um, and the problem with this currently, as I found out, so I loaded this game up just so that it will record okay and all that jazz, but there's no tutorial. As it stands right now, there is no tutorial in this game. So I'm kind of winging it. I'm going to be winging it an awful lot because I don't really know how it all works yet. I know the basics. Um, also, we're going to turn some of these things off. We're going to turn some of these things off. I think that's the news panels. Yeah, let's clear that. Um, stock market. Now, weirdly enough, you would think that this bit here is purple. This bit just here is purple. It's a stock market open and it's purple. Uh, however, to turn that little panel off, you click this one here, which is orange. I would like that to be purple, if I'm completely honest. Uh, let's turn that news bit off as well. Okay, so this is our city. You can't zoom in, you can't zoom out, and this is the speed that it goes at. This is the speed that the scrolling is going at, and you cannot make it go any slower or faster. So it's quite big. It's quite a big city. It's quite a big place. These are empty plots. So this has obviously got a building on it. This is a plaza building. The Pacific Plaza is neglected. Those in need of retail therapy will find many of the leading brands and stores at this shopping complex, and you can upgrade it for eight and a half million dollars. And it's a bit weird that you um you have to right click on everything. You have to actively right click on things. You don't left if you left click, nothing happens, but you right click and stuff kind of springs into life and you get to make decisions about things. So buildings are already in place like say this marina or this thing here, this convenience store, you right click, it tells you something about it. And if there is a, if there is a decision to be made, like for example, clicking on this church just here, the Santa Monica Cathedral, oh sorry, it's a cathedral, not a church, sorry. Um, you can spend money to upgrade it and make a decision about that. If you right click on an empty plot, you get to make a decision about what you want to do. Oh, we have been given the opportunity to host a party of distinguished foreign diplomats. This visit would cost 4.265 million. But would that bring in lots of tourism? Would it bring in 4.265 million's worth of tourism? Yeah, go on. For prestige, why don't we do that? Spencer, we've got 50 million. So 4.2 million. Yeah, go on. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's host some uh, prestigious foreign diplomats. I wonder where they are. I wonder where they're from. I wonder where this city is. I imagine this city is in America. Everything is in dollars. Um, so yeah, so if you right click on a plot, like uh, let's just click on this one for, let's cancel out of that. Come on, cancel. Uh, right click this. 
uh, you get to build some stuff. So everything's quite expensive, I noticed. So like an office complex is 42.5 million. If we were to build that, we'd have hardly any money left. And in fact, yeah, so some stuff over here is quite cheap, like a winery or a farm or a bird sanctuary or a park. Might pop a park in the middle somewhere. Uh, we can't afford a hospital, which is a shame. Uh, we can, I believe, sell some of our stuff. So this is our water department. So we've currently got 135 units of water in storage. We've produced 20 and we use 12. So obviously this water storage is going to be going up and we can sell units. So we could possibly sell, I don't know, a few. One, two, three. So we've still got just over 100. And this is the same for power. So we could do the same. Now I know the price per unit is coming down a little bit, but it's still quite good. So let's just sell it until we've got over 200 power. So there you go. So we've made a little bit of money back. So we will have made some money back on that, which is fine. And then there's this toolbar across here. In fact, I think I think this green thing put the districts on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's quite helpful. So I can see where things are. So this is Rose Hill, presumably because there's lots of roses everywhere. That's quite nice. That is a cloud. Okay, as unexpected. I wasn't expecting to see clouds, but okie dokie. Uh, this toolbar along here is all of our stuff, all of our policy decision making. What is that flowery thing? Uh, that just moves me around automatically. Okay, well, that's a bit weird then. Uh, yeah, so if we go into here, it takes us to all our sort of financy type screens. So we've got ourselves the treasury, and this shows us that we're losing $62,159 a month. That's not very good. That's not very good. But look, but this man here, who, who does look like a treasury man, I quite like him. He looks like a man who you might find in a treasury. Um, possibly in his glasses on, a, I don't know, a bag of money or something. Uh, at the moment, the global economy... Oh. The global economy uh, is very good, and the economy. Experts predict it will remain unchanged during the next quarter. So the economy is good. That's good news. Uh, but we can make all decisions along here. So we can put tax rates up, and then the stock market stuff, which I don't really understand, and I'm not going to go into that, let's be perfectly honest. Uh, if we click onto this, we can see the welfare department. So we've got a bit over here for health, so we can buy extra doctors and specialists, but obviously we're going to be paying for staff costs and uh, education as well. There's a bit of welfare, so how much pensions we pay. And there's a bit here, I'm not entirely sure about this, if I'm honest. I'm not entirely sure about this. So if I click, yes, I'd like a high rise type three, please click, it'll build one somewhere, but I don't know how it does that. I've not got that far yet. I've only played this for about, I played it for not even five minutes before, just to make sure it recorded and just to see basically whether it was, you know, right clicks, left clicks, zoom in, zoom out, that kind of thing. Um, but then presumably we do have two tenement blocks, four townhouse projects. We've got a large factory, a manufacturing plant, two warehouses and three industrial parks, which is jolly exciting. Um, then there's a bit here for transport. So currently we have entirely no public transport. We've got no road maintenance, no railways, buses, metro or trams. So that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? So yes, we might want to put one of those in at some point. Then we've got ourselves the police department. So there's been one traffic violation this month. Oh, what a what a heavenly place we live in. What an idyllic town. Uh, and yep, there's uh, that many police officers. So eight officers, five vehicles, three traffic police. And that's all very lovely. And yes, CCTV and all these kind of things are in here. Then we've got this. This is the policy page. Well, one of the many policy pages. So obviously we could tick one of these and it would switch it on. So we could go, yes, tick, free bus pass scheme, travel permits for the young and elderly and people would rejoice. Apart from the people that look after our bank balance who would then cry because it's going to cost us $132,000 a month. But then obviously we could then offset that by doing toll roads. So then some people would be sad, but we would make $136,000 per month. And there's loads of these. So there's transport, law enforcement, Health and welfare, community environment infrastructure, education, tourism, and recreation. There's an awful lot of these policy decisions to make. There's loads, there's so many. Um, so yeah, we'll come back and look at those. Possibly, I quite like the idea of these. Quite like the idea of these. Technology grants. Provide schools with latest technology. 6,248 per month. That's not that much. That's not that much. So I quite like the idea of that. Education is important. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of those. And then there's a statistics department page as well, which is uh, interesting, possibly. 39%. Ah, maybe that's what that thing in the corner is. It's our approval rating, our popularity. Okay, right. Well, that makes sense. So we've got 39%. Rick Rogers, who looks like a smarmy egg. Uh, yeah, we don't want him. He's 30%. Joe Walker. She just looks really boring and uninteresting. The Dem Libs, yeah, she is a bit rubbish. And uh, everyone else, 365 days to the next election. So I've just been elected 
and now I have to look after the town. So now, now becomes a bit where I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Because I did all that, and I looked at all that, and I'm going, yeah, I've looked at lots of stuff. Now what do I do? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I need to spend some money, possibly, to try and revitalize the city. So there's, a, there's an eye just there on that park. What does that do? A beautiful park provides a leisure and relaxation for local residents and city visitors. Upgrade for 4.8 million. Do you know what? Yeah, why not? A park. Parks are good. People like parks. Let's do that. Let's renovate the park. That's good. Did we renovate the park? Uh, standard. Oh, okay, right. So it's become a standard park. So it's not neglected. It's just standard now. Okay, well, that's fine, I think. Santa Monica. Do we want to build a thing? Uh, office complexes, large factories, warehouses, hospitals, university, landfill. Mmm. <laughs> what's next door to the, what's next door to here? A lovely landfill site. Oh, good. A large market might be worth putting in. A large market, you know, to get some, get some, you know, trading stuff going on. Is that going to be a good place for a large market? Uh, okay, yeah, I don't know. Ah, I know what I am going to do, actually. Let's put in some of these. Let's put in bus services. So it's going to cost 15 grand a month. That's not very much. 2.6 million to start up. Let's go for, uh, in fact, do you know what? Should we go for a standard service? 3.7 million to set up, 24,000 per month. Let's do that. Let's get some basic bus services going on. There we go. Splendid. So we've got that. Um, ERP. I don't know what that means. What's that? From here, you can set the electronic road pricing level as well as determine the level of transport services in the city. What is the electronic road pricing level? I set it at 12. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Yay. Go electronic road pricing. <laughs> don't know what that means. Uh, okay, where's all our um, all our policies and stuff? Where was that? That was in there, was it? Yeah, okay. Right, let's put it along the end here. Education. I quite like the idea of this one here. Schools with the latest technology. Yeah, let's do that. Let's tick that. So we pay out 6,248 in costs on policies. So none of these are implemented. None of these policies are in any way implemented. Goodness me, you thought they might be, wouldn't you? You might have at least one of these. Crikey. So there you go. We've got a school one. Is there anything else we particularly want? Uh, Citywide Wi-Fi would be beautiful, but it costs 170 grand. Wow. Is there anything that's really, really small? You know, like below 10 grand or something that I could just drop on just to, you know, make the tiniest bit of difference. There. Health-based insurance. Oh, health screening program. All the health ones are relatively cheap. Alternative medicine. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. Uh, medical care in the community. Provides emergency patient transport. An ambulance. We haven't got ambulances. We don't have ambulances. Well, I rather think we need to take ambulances because that's a bit stupid, isn't it? Let's have ambulances switched on, please. That, do we really not have ambulances? <laughs> that sounds a little bit stupid. So there you go, another 13 grand. Paying another 13 grand out. So um, yeah, we're not, we're losing, we're losing a bit of money. Now that's not really representative because 4.75 million we spent a bit on a park. So that's not really representative of, of the whole thing. Now I'm, it's going to be a step into the dark. Who knows how this works? Airport North. What are these little things here? Uh, these little building can they be what can they be what can these things be can they be something tiny apartments 23.4 million townhouses townhouses could be good townhouses could be useful because then could we not get money from people living in them we've only got 36 million so we can only build one lot and then some other stuff oh a homeless shelter that's probably a good thing to build and a basketball court next door and a local park next door what about revitalizing this bit over here now, I assume the big things can't be townhouses. No, so they're bigger. They're far bigger. So the three different sizes of things can actually have different things built on them. Okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. That can have like schools or a zoo or a car park or a market. Hang on. Couldn't that have a market? Was that not going to be a large market? Uh, a large market, 17 million. So, yeah, this is going to be the, the step into the beyond because I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to work at all. Edmonton, what's that then? A tenement block. Can we build another tenement block? I like the idea of tenement blocks. Uh, no, okay, fine, we can't do anything with those. Well, on here, let's we start in Edmonton. 
Because Edmonton looks like a good a place as any to start building some stuff. What's that? Townhouses. Ah, okay. Yeah, I want to build some townhouses. They look useful. They look like I might get some money. In fact, what about just here? Can I build townhouses in there? Or is that a bigger site? Uh, that looks like a bigger site, actually. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Uh, okay, what about a park? No, we're not going to build a park over there. Let's go up here. Let's redo Edmonton. Let's redo this little bit over here, shall we? These things here look kind of bereft and sad. So let's do something with these. So let's build ourselves townhouses. Yay, do that. Okay, I can hear a hammering up. <laughs> okay, right. So they just appear. They just drop into existence today. Okay, right. There's a little money symbol just there. That's good. The current property is currently valued at 8.4 million. Well, I don't want to sell that then, do I? Because that would be stupid because then I would have just lost loads of money and that bad. That is a silly thing to do. Uh, we could sell a bit more water. We could certainly sell more electric. Got nothing on electric. Yeah, let's sell a little bit of electric, make some money. In fact, can we do another one? Yay, 20 million. So we've still got 20 million dollars. What do we want to do with 20 million dollars? Now, it'd be nice to upgrade the airport, but that costs 24 and a half million dollars, and that would leave me very, very broke indeed. Uh, Station Road, that's a power plant, I assume, yep. Yeah. Uh, upgrade to oil for 57 million. I rather think not. What can we do with this as a little site along there? Uh, okay, right, well, let's go back down to here. That's got a little palm tree outside of it. That's nice. Let's put something here. A local park might be quite nice. Or oh, basketball court. Yes, okay, a basketball court. And they're building that. That's good. And then just there. Right, so we can't build another thing while we're waiting for one thing to be built. Okay, let's build a street soccer court because that looks fun. So let's build one of those. So bish bash bosh. Boom. Okay, so we've got some courts in. So that's good. So hopefully that'll attract people in and make them happy. Hopefully that will bring some people in to come and live here. Because the more people we get, the more uh, profit we're going to make from. Like taxes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what about over... Here, have we got like a, an industry area? Like a place where all the factories are? Let me go and see if I can find anywhere where there's factories. Okay, right in the corner, there is a Docklands, which is 24.3 million to kind of renovate. But I haven't got that right now, but that's worth remembering. It's very slow. The scrolling is very slow. It would be nice if it hurried up a little bit. But okay, so maybe those little... um. Those little blue kind of uh, eye kind of things are worth taking note of. So yeah, that'd be quite cool. That'd be quite good if we could do that though. Regenerate the docks a little bit. Uh, there was one up here which I did not look at at all when we went by. Where was it? Somewhere up here. Here on this sort of road junction. What's that? Uh, Palm Beach. Crystal clear water and golden sand attract visitors from all over. It's one of the best beaches in the world. Upgrade for 12. Hello. Uh, okay, thanks for overriding what I was reading, but that's nice, Mr. Budget Man. The accounts for last month have been completed today. Please visit the Treasury Department for further details. Okay, can you go away now? Uh, so, yes, uh, total monthly income, 3.1, monthly loss, 4.7. But that's because we built and you know, renovated loads of stuff. So I won't be too worried about that. Uh, where can we make some more money? Maybe we need to put some more money into taxes. Uh, now, I, again, I don't know what GST is. I'm not sure about that. But let, if we just knock the taxes up, one, 1% for each of those, that's good, isn't it? Is that a good thing? Just to knock the taxes up a tiny little bit, just to pay for some stuff. Just to pay for some stuff. Car parks make a bit of money. That's interesting. Public transport didn't make any money. Why did public transport not make any money at all? I would have expected it to at least, you know, rake in a tiny bit of money. We've got buses. They're not free, are they? I'm not offering free buses. That would be stupid. That that is that way madness lies. Um, I could do railway facilities. I and mean, there is a train station. We do have a train station. Uh, stock sales. I don't really understand how that works. Tourism. Be quite good if we get some tourists in. That might make quite a tidy bit of money. That could be quite good. Uh, but yeah, the minute industry tax and GST. That'd be really useful if I knew what GST was. Hang on, I'm going to Google GST in terms of city finances. 
Ah, right, okay. Goods and services tax. A value-added tax levied on most goods and services sold for domestic consumption. So uh, in the UK, it'd be like VAT, I suppose. Okay, yeah, well, that's that's at 20% in our in our country. So let's, uh, let's put that up to 20%. There we go. Yay, I've probably done something really terrible, a really bad decision, but never mind. Right, okay, get rid of him. So, right, how much was this? 12.8 million to revitalize this whole beach to then bring tourists in. That's probably a good thing, I would think. But then have I got any money left to do anything else? Like up here, like a car park would be quite useful up there. Could we build a car park up there? Because people are going to want to come here and then park their cars, they not? Let's cancel out of that a second. Or just here, a uh, car park, multi-level car park, $14.7 million. Goodness me, that... That is, that's quite extortionate, isn't it? Right, is there any way to take out a loan? Can we take out a loan anywhere? Because we don't have much money. Like, for example, we started with 50 million. If we want to build a high-rise type 1, 41.7 million. And then you're stuck. Then you're stuck. You don't seem to start with very much money in terms of, you know, what things cost to build. So, um, yeah, I, I, I need to find if we can take out a loan. Does anyone want to give me any money? I can't find a loan thing, but there is a satisfaction survey, and everyone seems kind of nonplussed about most things. Housing is okay, so availability of residential and rental properties is okay. Leisure is okay. The thing they're a bit sad about is jobs and pollution. So, can we build factories then? That's what I was looking at before, wasn't it? Can we build a place for people to work? Like in here, we've got an office complex. I can't afford to build an office complex. I can't afford to build any of these things here that would actually be useful that might bring us some money in. A market's too expensive. Landfill. Yes, I don't want to build a landfill. A golf course. That's leisure though, isn't it? That's leisure. Vandalism reported in Palm Beach. No, no vandals. No vandals. Now, a farm. A farm is interesting. That would be, um, that would be uh, jobs, wouldn't it? you have to go and work on the farm that would make sense can we build a farm down in this corner in rose hill possibly down here look, there's like a nice boaty area there's the west coast marina a little bit down here there's kind of green over here look westfield vale that sounds like it could do with farms so can we build a farm just here 7.8 million yeah whatever let's build a farm let's see what happens with the farm bang there is the farm and now we've got 6.7 million 6.7 million doesn't sound very much at all. <laughs> that sounds like a small amount of money. Um, what this then? Do we need to do something with the stock market? Do we need to invest in the stock market? Oh, I've pressed a button and now I've, now I've done a thing. Now I've done a thing. Okay, I've, I've, I've bought some stock stuff. Okay, that's probably bad. Should I have done that? Uh, okay, well, that's that. Where's my stock market thing? How can I see what they're doing? Uh, it was that thing. Can I see where they're going up or down? Petrosol. Media. Co Let's buy some in Global Motors. Let's buy some stuff in. Can I click on that and do it? No. Uh, let's go into here. Global Motors. Let's buy 100k worth of shares in Global Motors. Yeah, let's do that. 100k worth of shares in that and 100k worth of shares in Multicorp. Because what could possibly go wrong with doing this? What could possibly go wrong with faffing about with stock markets? Yay! There we go. So one pound, uh, one well, one dollar three and ninety four cents. Okay, come out of that. So let's speed time on, because I don't know what else there is to do currently as it stands right now. I do need to do stuff with pollution. They weren't very happy with pollution of things, were they? Uh, what's the farm doing? A fresh and healthy fruit and veg for local markets, as well as employment for seasonal workers. That's quite nice. Yay. Yay for that. Right, okay, yeah, when it ticks over to the next day, it's or is it when you click on something? Okay, when you click on a thing and click off it, it turns the time back to normal speed. Okay, that's fine. So $1.3 and 94 cents. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> the, stuff I, the stuff I bought shares in is plummeting. I know, that's the same. That's the same. So 101 and 94. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> Let's speed time on. Let's see if that goes up. Up, down, up, down, up, down. It's 10. It's making a slightly annoying binging noise. No, it's not really going very well on the stock markets. It's not going well at all. They've both come down. Oh, Global Motors has absolutely... They've both tanked. <laughs> They're both 
tanked. No, what? Uh, markets are bad. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's not bother with that for a while then. Let's just pretend that I haven't got those stocks and shares in there because that was a stupid thing to do. Never meddle with stocks and shares, ever, ever, ever. It is an idiotic thing to do. Uh, okay, so what do we do now? How do we make money? Like Grand, oh, Grand Hotel. Upgrade for 6.7. Ah, blah, blah. The first and most famous city hotel. This building is admired and every, everything is neglected. Is literally everything neglected? Pretty much everything in this whole city is falling apart. Okay, that's fine then. Is that a train station? Do we need to do anything with the train station? Oh, that's a multi-story car park. That's nice. Uh, yep, the train station is neglected. Is everything neglected in this whole place? The police station isn't neglected. Yay! It's actually not falling apart. Uh, the city hall. I could... I could actually upgrade that for 5.7 million. I could upgrade that in theory. That's the fire service place. Right, okay. That's another car park. That's those little things that I built, which is good. And I built these things as well. So people can go and relax and chill. So that's what we've done. And uh, can we move up? Oh, I wish... Oh, Joe, you know I'd love it if we could move a bit quicker. I'd be very happy if we could move it a bit quicker. Yeah, everything is neglected. So all the main buildings are neglected and the beach and the docks and all that kind of stuff. It'd be useful to get the docks done, wouldn't it? It'd be useful to be able to get the docks actually renovated and doing stuff nice because uh, doing stuff properly. Doing stuff nice. Deary me. What kind of language is that? Doing stuff properly because that will provide a nice source of jobs. And I believe, as it stands right now, is it that one? Uh, yeah, see, jobs and pollution are still the thing. I wonder if we can sort pollution out with one of those things. Uh, let's have a look. Where would it be? Uh, environment. Envi emissions control. $132,000 a month. Yeah, you might have to pay for that, folks. You might have to pay for this, because that's really expensive. <laughs> that's very expensive indeed. Right, I couldn't find before if there was a place to take out a loan. I'm going to go and have another check. Nope, I don't think there is. I don't think there's a place where you can take out an actual loan because there's nothing here in expenditure that actually says what you're paying out for a loan. You've got police and fire and health and education and welfare and all that kind of stuff, but there is no which says, yes, loans, you pay out this much. So, uh, no, I don't really know. I don't know where the loan stuff would be. Let's speed time on to the next day, shall we, and just see how we're doing with our monies. Does it come out at the end of every day? So 6.497... He's then going to come down possibly a lot to... Uh, no, it's not going to come down at all. Okay, that's absolutely fine then. So does it come out... Like, when do we get paid? Do we get paid per what? Month? Do we, is it per month? Yeah, last month to this month. Oh, crikey. Well, it's only the third day. I'm just going to have to sit and wait, am I? Uh, something just went bibbly-boo. I don't know what bibbly-booed. Something really good, I assume. Uh, what is your view on implementing ID cards for city residents? Oh, Ben Forbes, the reporter. These cards will help reduce crime. The cards infringe basic human rights. But there are pros and cons to this idea. Well, I'm going to sit entirely on the fence. I'm going to take a very comfortable seat upon that fence and say, there's good and bad, and we need to assess that. Yay, there we go. Right, and the stocks and shares are back up. And it's not looking good for the two that I bought, which is of no great surprise. So, um... Yeah, let's just... Should we switch them off for now? Because it makes a really irritating noise. Uh, okay. So now I don't really know what else to do. My approval rating has dropped to 38%. I don't know what that 20 out of 20 in the corner is. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, that sends that on and off. That's... I don't know what that does. That brings that thing up. Oh, can we turn that off? Is that music? Yeah, let's turn the music off because it's quite loud. Um, world leaders... The manual. Oh, manual! <laughs> well, that would have been useful, wouldn't it? That would have been handy to know before we actually got there. Right, okay. Global leaderboard. Yep, okay. And information. Right, okay. Well, let's see what this does then. Let's have a read of the manual and see how this works. Ah, okay. Interestingly, I have an overdraft of 60 million. So I can go into 60 million. So really, I've got 66 and a half million to play with. But uh, exceeding 60 million means that I get booted out. So that's bad. I have the results from a latest opinion poll. Your personal popularity currently stands at 38%. It would appear that your popularity is heading down. Keep an eye on your rating and make sure you are ready for election day. Election day is in a year's time. I think I have a whole year to sort this out. So don't worry, I will be fine. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Well, let's let time speed on a bit because I can't do much else. I can't really do much else until I can see how much we're making from this stuff. And it only tells me last month what I'm making for income and expenditure. 
and months go by quite slowly, it seems. Stuff goes by quite slowly in Metropolis. So, um, yeah, let me, let me have a read through some of these then. Let's have a look through the manual and see if I can glean any useful information. Right, okay, so I have gleaned two things. One is, this number here, this number in brackets at the end of this, is the number of people that came into the city, I believe. So, tourists, I assume it means, rather than people living here. Oh, no, maybe it doesn't, because now that's gone up. That's good. Um, Medicon are requesting assistance about an industrial unit. This offer will provide 2,000 jobs and will cost us 2.3 million. Yes, absolutely. Go forth and do that right now, Medicon. Build a thing. Build an exciting thing and give us 2,000 jobs. Because that sounds flipping tremendous. And the ERP that we saw in the uh, finance screen, sorry, no, the, the travel screen, this thing here, apparently it stands for electronic road pricing and is an overhead gantry system which essentially acts as a tax on vehicles entering the city. So they're going to pay a 12% tax on coming in, which is good, I suppose. I've never really heard of a, a tax of people going to the city, I suppose. And I guess London does have its... um. It's sort of congestion charge thing. Maybe it's that kind of thing. I don't know. But um, yeah, and then the welfare department screen. I've been looking at this as well. So maybe we need to up some of these or whatever to make the, the quality of life better. I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure how we can get money quicker than just waiting for the entire month to roll around. It seems like quite a long time. Like you'd expect the money to appear each day or whatever. But um, no, so this is a patient game by the look of it. It's a very patient game. Oh, and, and the text hasn't gone away from there. Okay, the text is the text is going to stay there, is it? Okay, that can it go away now? There we go, little baguette there, delicious, delicious baguette to get your teeth into. Uh, okay, so we've just created two thousand jobs, which is good. So is that our stats thing? Uh, yeah, so jobs. Uh, right, okay, so jobs has now gone to a slightly non plus face rather than a sad face. So now pollution is the thing we need to deal with. The only thing is, yeah, that pollution thing was very expensive. Pollution was very expensive to deal with when we saw it on the thing. So, um, yeah, do we want to actually put that thing on uh, in the policies, which is there? I think it was in this one here. So emissions control. Monitor emissions is $132,000 a month. That's so much money. It's so much money. But that would be a good thing because that's what people are worried about. People are worried about that. So, should we switch that on? It's one of the most expensive things we're going to have switched on. Do you know what? To heck with it. Let's do it. 145 grand policy costs, but we've got emissions, emissions control on. So, that's good. So, hopefully, that will make that go up a bit. And then uh, my popularity might go up a little bit. And the aim is, the aim is to get this thing here, this livable cities index value, up. Up, up, up into a nice high realm. So at the minute, we've got 506 points. So we are quite some way behind Melbourne. We're not so far behind like Rome and Saigon and stuff, but we're quite some way behind the top ones. So the whole aim is to get that up as high as possible. Right, let's just have a quick check of the shares. Oh, 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 right. Okay, hang on. Slow time down. Let's go to normal time. Quick, shares. They're 144. I, I bought them for far less. Can I sell all those now, please? That, uh, uh, or do I wait? Do I wait for that to go up? Global economy forecast is going up. New generation of smartphones, bigger, better, and more expensive than before. Thanks, financial news. Um, do I sell them now? This is the risk, isn't it? Do I sell some of them now? Let's sell half of my shares in that now. Uh, so how do I figure out how much I've made? Stock sales. So if I go sell 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I've made 72 grand on that and that global motors is just about back where it started um should we keep some multi-court behind let's do that 86 grand yeah we spent 100 grand on that didn't we i think 100 grand on each i think uh yeah 207,000 on stock purchase oh yes yeah, we bought that one as well we bought petrosite do you know what i can't remember how much we bought that for but let's let's just sell that one let's just get rid of that there we go so 100 grand we've just made on that so maybe we need to play the stock market a bit maybe we need to play the stock market a tiny little bit the only thing is i'm gonna have to remember how much i bought things for because i've got no brain i can't remember anything so i'm gonna buy 100k of each of those in fact should we buy 200k of each of those let's buy 200k of each of these four that are remaining uh and see in fact let's just go back to here for a second is the stock market still open oh that's annoying isn't it i can't see what it's doing hang on let's be time on to the next day and just see what's happening with stock market stuff 
Okay, the stock market is open. So what is happening with all these things? And let's have a quick look. Uh, okay, so the, a lot of them are going up. Big Pharma is coming back down. Big Pharma is coming down. As the global economy is expected to be good, keep a close eye on share prices with a view to selling. Thanks, Rex. Jolly good. Uh, all right, time to back to normal. Um, okay, Global Motors has gone up a bit, which is good. So what I'm going to do is, so now we know what they're selling at. Let's go into there. And I'm going to buy 100k of those four, I think. Uh, now, I don't know if that's probably a wise idea or not. I don't know. That media con seems very high. 299 seems very, very high. These seem reasonable. So let's buy. And what I'm going to do is I shall buy 100k of each and I shall write down the price that I bought them at because I won't remember it otherwise. Do you know what? Why not? Let's buy 200k in each. Let's just go completely mad. They'll come up at some point, I'm sure. So I spent a million on stock purchases. I spent a million on stock purchases, but they are eventually, look, I mean, some of them are going up quite a lot already. Already some of them are going up. Now, some of them are going down, as you would expect on a stock market, but Nutriso has gone up from what I bought it at. That's quite exciting. So, I mean, if I keep an eye on that, six o'clock, I think the stock market will shut. So let's put it down to the normal speed. So I bought Petrosol for 1.42, so that's gone up. Big Pharma has gone up by 0 0.1, 0 0.01 even, and Nutriso has gone up by... Uh, 1.52, so 10 cents per share. So that's quite good. So if I keep an eye on those, just make sure what's going on. Multicorp, Multicorp is so good. I might sell all the Multicorp ones. I might sell those now because they're probably going to come back down. I don't know how you predict stock market stuff. I've got no idea. Let's uh, let's just sell all of the multi-core ones. There we go. Yay. 3.4 million in the treasury. Splendid. And I think what we're going to do is we'll leave it there for now. I think we're going to come back to this and just see how I get on. I'd like to get to the end of the month and just see what happens. I'd like to see what happens. But this is a weird, it's an unusual game because I don't seem to have any money to build things. I thought I was going to have more money to you know, go through and go, yay, right, I want to build an office complex here and I want to build a thing here and then maybe a couple of smaller office kind of things here and a supermarket here. But everything is so damn expensive. Like you go, yay, right, I'm going to click here. Apartments, 23.4 million. Given we only started with 50 million, you could build two apartment blocks and that's it. That's all you've got. So I don't really know the best way to actually make money in this game. I don't know the best way to do it. Pollution still, people are still very unhappy with pollution. I've put controls in and everything. I've put controls in for pollution. Why are you being so grumpy? Do you know what I might do though? Can we add an extra doctor, be good, and a nurse and an auxiliary and a specialist? Let's up our, up our health stuff and up our education stuff by one person each as well. There we go. Splendid. That's a good thing. I like that. I like doing that. That's good. Um, okay. Let's come out of that. And um, yeah, let's leave it there for now. Let's leave it there. I think that's save, isn't it? Yeah, save looks like it's down there. So we'll leave it for now. We'll come back to this because I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued as to how this is all going to work because I don't know how it's going to work. I really don't know. I really don't know how it's all going to fit together. So, um, yeah, let's come back and let's have another go. And maybe it'll be a case of just speeding time on to the end of the month to see what happens and dealing with all the little decision bits that come up from that. I see, ideally, I'd love to get 12.8 million to renovate this beach, to get Palm Beach all lovely and, and, you know, spruced up and made all fantastic again. And the tourists can come in and we can be a haven for tourists and they can bring in their monies. They can spend money here and they can live in hotels and stuff. I think, in fact, one of these... Is one of these a hotel? Yeah, 28.2 million though. We'd need quite a lot of money to get that sorted. So yeah, maybe we'd need to invest in stocks and shares and things. But um, yeah, okay. Oh, stocks and shares are going crazy. Multicorp and all the stuff. Oh, my ones are coming back down. Oh, Nutriso is going up quite a lot actually. That's good news. But okay, yeah. So we'll come back. In fact, let's put it on normal speed because that bingling noise is quite irritating. And uh, let's turn that off in fact. And um, yeah, we'll come back to this. We'll give it another go. I think it deserves another, another look. Now we've actually worked out the basics and we've had a look at, you know, how some of it works. I think now we need to sort of dig further in and see if we can make money to get to the end of the month, see what happens, see how much cash we've got and then go from there. So yes, we shall come back indeed. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. Have you found this interesting? Have you found it terrible? Have you found it boring? Do you want to see more, less, never again, all the time? Let me know, please, in the comments. And um, yeah, we'll see it again for at least one more part. If not more, I don't know for now. So yeah, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to keep up to date with this series or the next part. Certainly, we might not do a series. And uh, all the other stuff that we do in the Geek Cupboard as well. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time.
Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still, and I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. 